Following a cabinet directive to roll out mass sensitization on parish development model, regional teams headed by respective ministers were constituted to undertake this exercise. Today, the Prime Minister, Right Honorable Robina Nabanja, received feedback from the recent parish development model mass sensitization exercise. Now, it is only the president who has not moved around. I want us uh, to see how we can zone so that the president can also take part in popularizing PTA. You know, he's our, senior, uh, our last, uh -huh, he's the senior coordinator, and we want him also to take part. Overall, the parish development model received a lot of enthusiasm and overwhelming support across the country. However, in some cases, the parish development model was viewed as a political program, and yet it is purely an economic empowerment project. The members of parliament own our projects. They don't see government, they see members of parliament, and they receive files. That's why you are seeing a number, the number of LC files becoming members of parliament is very high by the way, in this country. Why? Because of our program. They see the LC files. The government, where are you? They see government nowhere. But this time around, government was felt. Yes. That's a very good point. The meeting recommended that the regional mass sensitization teams should continue playing a leading role to ensure successful implementation of this program. Political leaders were urged to speak with the same voice about parish development model to avoid sending mixed signals to the masses. There has been a debate about whether or not the one million shillings given per household would be enough. If somebody says, one million is not enough. That now means he's in the VIP tent. Yeah, true. Who are not supposed to get mm. all in yeah. VIP tent. And therefore, colleagues, if somebody says one million is not enough, that automatically mm. disqualifies that person. So I used to give them the, my experience, how I started. That for me, I didn't have any, any land. So I started by buying a half an acre where we constructed our house and we started with planting coffee, uh, mixing it with the banana plantations uh, within that area, that, that is small plot. So I was, I was giving them my, my experience uh, that, in fact, I was emphasizing that if we are to get out of poverty, we are to, if we are to sensitize our people to get out of poverty, we have to emphasize uh, uh, um, saving culture. The exercise also healed conflicts existing among some political leaders. A cross-section of members of the opposition also attended the sensitization program. They are desensitized the people, and the people, all of them, were really pleased by the government program. Sirongo district is basically opposition, FDC. I informed our colleagues there, Honorable Mafavi Nandala and the, the other one. Though they didn't turn up, but their people embraced the overall program. And to us, that is what mattered most. The meeting also recommended that regular mass sensitization should be encouraged to keep the candle burning, not only for the parish development model, but also other government development programs. The meeting was attended by the first Deputy Prime Minister, Right Honorable Rebecca Kadaga, a cross-section of ministers and members of parliament. Doreen Nasasera reporting for UBC News.